Hello Aries. This is your ex reading for the 31st through February 6th. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Hmm. Nine of Swords. A lot of you are, um, you're worried. And I think you are over, like, like what you're thinking about is nowhere near how it truly is. I think that there's a lot that you have on your plate right now and you're wondering if you can get it all done, if you can accomplish what it is that you're trying to accomplish here. Um, a, a lot of thoughts going into this, but I think you guys are like really kind of overthinking things currently here for a lot of you. Okay. Let's see what's going on with your ex. A lot of cards here jumping out. Let's take a look at those real quick. And I'm going to put them back in the deck. Um, this person has walked away from something. And I feel like this person wants to come back your way. They want to, they want to start again. They want to extend an olive, olive branch. But they feel like, you know, it, it's going to lead to nothing but arguments here. That it's not going to pan out the, the way that they, that they want it to. Because I feel like they walked away from you before. And um, you guys probably did not get along very well here. Yeah, th this person's having regrets. Um, and, and I feel like this person knows that they've done something that um, they may not be able to come back from. Like you don't want to accept them back. But I think that you're having a hard time with this because in a sense I feel like you guys... Not that you want this person back, but I feel like whatever they've done, um, it, it's still like right there. It, you're still thinking about it here. But this person is definitely having regrets about um, whatever they've done relating to you, because you know we have these um, we have these these three cups spilled over here. But if you see, there's two cups still up there on the counter. They're still very much. Um, you know, a lot of love between the two of you. They just don't feel like they have a chance in hell of getting back with you. Is what I'm getting here, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. It, you think this person's avoiding you. You're thinking that they don't want to apologize or for whatever they've done. Because I, I get the feeling that they, they did a lot of things that you really had to um, tame yourself over. But I think this person is really trying to work up the nerve to come back and apologize for something here. They're, they want to come back and apologize for something here, my Aries friends, because this is how you see them. Maybe a Leo energy or even Scorpio here okay let's see how they view you how do they view you three of wands hmm maybe they think that you're like that you know that um well i'm sure if they did something wrong you guys already know you know what they did better than anyone else okay and i think that they know that you're smart and that you figured out whatever game they were playing and you know that this person's feeling regretful because they should. And I'm, I'm getting that from you. They should feel regretful. Okay. And they feel like that you're waiting for them to come back. And I think you guys feel like they think that you are going to reach out again. Because I feel like you guys have reached out to this person before. And has probably extended an olive branch before and they shot it down and I think now you're just you're over it but I think a part of you guys still want to um, you want an apology you feel like you deserve it okay let's see how you guys are feeling about getting back together here hmm 
think you're thinking about getting back together. What I what I feel is that a lot of you are not lending any more emotion to this situation, to this person. Um, I think you're waiting for an apology. Okay, that's all you want to hear coming out of their mouth is an apology for whatever they're done. They've done. You want them to admit to whatever whatever they did to you during the relationship or even after the relationship ended um i think you're you're waiting for them to like come clean is what i'm getting from you okay let's see what their feelings are about getting back together here maybe a gemini person too <laughs> they want to I think this person before, strong Leo here, I think before this person took you for granted, is just what I'm getting. Um, you feel like they took you for granted. Um, I feel like you were the one that made things right a lot of the times. When you guys argue, it's like you kind of sucked it up and you, and you try to smooth things over because that's an Aries way. You know, not holding grudges. And I feel like this person has realized that um, there probably is going to be nobody else that takes their bull crap or will put up with their bull crap the way that you have. And I feel like at this point, this person is aware that um, you are the one for them. And I think you've always been the one. But I think, you know, Sometimes people get beside themselves. That's just the bottom line here. Um, I feel like they really would like for you to make, um, you know, extend that olive branch again. But I, I don't get that coming from you guys. I don't I don't see that happening. I feel like, you know, sometimes when, you know, Aries will, they will try and try and try when they love somebody. Um, but once they're done, then it's a wrap on that. It's done. Um, and that's where, you know, the emperor comes in at, you know, Aries are not usually very stubborn people, but, um, you know, once it's over, it's over, it's done. They do what they want to do. Okay. And when you decide that you don't want to do something, you don't do it. And that's just the bottom line there. Okay. Sorry, cross watchers. Let's see how you can help bring this connection back together. The page of cups. I think this is being open. I think this is also you offering your love to someone. Um, maybe being a little receptive, not going all in. Um, but mostly, you guys, I feel like this is you um, going on about your business. You know, putting your, putting your energy and your effort and your emotions into something else. Completely ignoring this. Whatever's going on here. Okay. Because I see you walking away. I see you, um, you know, investing your time other places, investing your energy other places here. So I would say um, keep trucking, you know, is how you can increase the chances. Because the more you, the more you ignore this person, I feel, the more they want you. The more they see who you are, the more the more they they know that um, you know maybe what they did was not the best thing to do, you know. So let's see how they can increase their chances here. This is temperance. This is not only gaining harmony in their life, but this is also um, you know working with other people. You know, somebody may not be the same as you. They may not function the same as you. They may not be, they may be more emotional than you. But it's to meet somebody halfway. It's to bridge the gap. If there was something that they feel like was lacking here, it's to extend an offer to like meet in the middle, to compromise here, to work things out. Okay, but I feel like this person, there, there's some harmony that they need to gain in their life. And I think maybe that involves maybe taking accountability for whatever they've done here. Okay, Sagittarian energy there. Let's see 
what is the potential outcome for Aries and their ex? The potential outcome here. It's a star. I think both of you will get the healing that you need. I feel like you guys brought out some um, some some things that needed to heal in the both of you. Maybe that neither one of you had anything to do with. Maybe some childhood things. Maybe some past relationship issues. And I think that you guys were together. You came together, brought together to heal some things within each other. Okay? But you had to go to your separate corners in order to do that. But I feel like this path that you guys have been on, how horrible it was, is probably leading you guys right back together here with the star. If you're open to it, okay? If you're open to it, because this person is quite possibly um, your life partner here. That's Aquarius energy. So we have Aquarius, um, any other air sign, really, Gemini, Libra, maybe, um, another Aries like yourself, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, maybe Scorpio energy here, guys, okay? So that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.